Hey everybody, it's Tanya with Thrifty Treasures and today I'm bringing you along with me for a garage sale ride along. So it's Friday, um, I'm probably going to um, tack on Saturday's garage sale ride along too. So it'll just be one big garage sale ride along video for Friday and Saturday. So real quick I'm going to show you everything I bought at this garage sale I just went to. Um, I picked up this MD Anderson cute little owl tie for 75 cents and it originally retailed for 38 and let me show you what it looks like. Isn't it cute? Love that. So cute. So I'll put that on eBay. And then, oh my gosh, these were hiding under something else. It's always so important to pick stuff up and move things around. But it is a, um, it's a set of four blossoms. It's a magnet set. Um, and it's made by the MD Anderson Cancer Center Children's Art Project. So these are really cute. Um, depending on what these are worth, I might sell them. If they're not going for a lot, I'll probably keep them for myself because they're super duper pretty. Aren't they cute? Um, let's see what else I got. I picked up this Jamboree little leopard kitty cat costume. It's a size 2T, 3T. Um, that's a good brand to look for. Um, the resale value is always good. It has this cute little tail here. And I asked, but it didn't come with any ears or anything like that. But leopard kitty cat ears are pretty easy to find. So um, I will put this up on eBay. And I picked up this shirt and I didn't even look it up. I just really like the plaid look of it. It's called, uh, it's by Outdoor Exchange. It's a size large, tall. Um, so here's the brand. And I've never heard of this brand. I don't even know if it does well, but for a dollar I thought, you know it was a nice shirt to pick up oops i just dropped something i was going to show you oh and i got this really cute little um i guess those are a little bitty i don't know cats maybe um for 25 cents but i got this little coin purse um for madeline so i thought she'd like that on fridays um or maybe it's every other friday at school the uh school store is open and they you can go and you can buy stuff so on friday she likes to bring a little money to buy stuff after lunch and then um for madeline i also got this cute little uh calendar here for 2017 little planner she has been writing in my happy planner so i thought this girl needs her own little planner so um for 50 cents here's a super cute little planner black floral it is by uh blue sky so I thought she would like that and it's not it's not been wrote in or anything and um, so it's got the whole calendar view then it's got the individual days so I thought she'd like that and then the last thing I got at that garage sale was this um, Adidas looks vintage to me and it's a size uh, small but then on the back it says MGM Las Vegas, but I don't know for a dollar. I'm sure somebody on eBay uh, Might want that. I mean, I'm gonna list it for more than a dollar, but uh, I meant for a dollar for me to pick it up <laughs> Is what I meant to say. Okay, so off to the next sale Okay, so I didn't find too many more garage sales this morning and the kids got out of school early today So as you can see I got Taylor and Madeline with me and we just got through doing a Dollar Tree haul video, so be looking for that on my channel. And right now we are on our way to get snow cones. I'm uh, going on my board because I didn't really forget them. All right. <laughs> okay, we made it to the snow cone place. I never, I never told y'all this, but it's almost my birthday. And um, let's see, and today's 10th, right? Today, I think today's the 10th. So my birthday's in four more days. How old are you gonna be? I'm gonna be nine years old, and tonight I get to go to my friend's birthday party. <laughs> and right. then I get to go one on the 12th, and then mine. Sunday, right? There's a bunch of her friends that have birthdays in March. Mm -hmm. All right. We get, uh, look at their new minion, it's cute, it's in the shape of a surfboard. I like, I like that surf shooters. I one of the extreme sour head brushers. That one does look good. I wonder if the bursting fruit pearls. I don't even know what they are. What are they called? Bursting fruit pearls. Strawberry, kiwi, or mango. Mm, that does sound good. I could have sworn I heard that. 
this place is so cute with the little plants and the pretty flowers. Okay. She's in the car? Okay, well there there's some bees out here, so Okay. Now we're taking some pictures, thought we'd shoot some silly video footage. Look at those silly faces. Oh my goodness gracious. Good morning. It's now Saturday morning and I am off to a really late start. It is about 8.08. .08. <laughs> And um, I'm off to a late start because I took a Benadryl last night because my allergies were going crazy. And um, boy, it just knocked me out. I had a hard time getting up this morning. So, and not only that, but it's been raining a lot. So I just didn't think there'd be that many garage sales. But um, a lot of times whenever it's raining, you can find some really good stuff because people like me sleep in and don't get up, right? So um, I am probably gonna drive around for about an hour because this morning, my mom's gonna pick uh, Madeline and me up about 11, and we are gonna go see, uh, I think it's Stanton Welch's uh, ballet uh, uh, performance of Cinderella. So I'm really excited about that. <clears throat> it's part of her birthday present. Her birthday's Tuesday, and she'll be turning nine. So um, we gotta go home and get me ready, and get her ready, and, um, Probably leave a little bit early too, right? Because of, it's raining and it's just not very good weather here today. So I will keep you posted when I find my first sale. So while I'm driving to this first garage sale, I thought I would share with you guys. This morning, um, besides waking up with a Benadryl hangover, I also woke up to a really great sale. It was a um, one of those albums. I bought a whole bunch of um, records, I don't know, maybe a month ago at Goodwill. And I think I paid, if I'm not mistaken, about 49 cents uh, per album. And <clears throat> I listed one by the Sex Pistols called Nevermind the Bullocks or something like that. And anyway, after I did my research, I came to the conclusion to list it for $89.99. And um, it's sold. I'm so happy. But the only thing is, is the buyer has zero feedback. And that always makes me nervous, right? But um, it's okay, I think, because they've already paid, which is good. Um, so I will get that shipped out first thing Monday morning, and I will uh, insert a picture of it so you guys can see what I'm talking about, too. I am not seeing very many garage sales this morning. I think a lot of people maybe change their minds about having it because it was, um, it's been raining so much. But I think if there is one community cell, um, it's probably about five miles away from my house. I guess I'll probably just go over there. I went over there yesterday um, to a garage sale and didn't really find anything. There's actually two. So it's got me thinking maybe I won't find much over there. But um, if I don't find something soon in my area, I might just, uh, go on over there. What is that? Okay, that's better. <laughs> okay, I'm coming up on the community sale right now. Uh, let's see, there is the sign. So let's see what we can find here. Seeing a lot of signs. <laughs> this might be the saddest community garage sale I've ever seen. The only garage sales that I found out here were the two I went to yesterday. So I think I'm gonna call it quits for this neighborhood. Everything. 
Holy moly, I found a lot of stuff at that garage sale. I spent $36.25, so I'm going to show you real quick everything that I picked up. So I got, and these are so stinking cute. I paid up for them, but I couldn't help it. And I'm totally keeping these. But they're these like folk art, super cute little kitty cat bookends. And um, it was $10 for the set. And they're kind of like, I don't know, they're kind of like bobbly. They kind of like move, wiggle a little bit. But, um, oh my gosh, I love these. I'm so excited to have found these. <clears throat> okay, and then I did pick up a couple plushies. So I got this little Anne Gettys. I'm not sure I'm saying her last, her name right. Uh, looks like a little Monchichi. Uh, it was uh, 25 cents. So I got that. And then I got this one here. It was, um, it still had the tag on it. Puffkins. And it looks like, I don't know, maybe a hamster or something. It was 50 cents. So we'll see. I haven't even looked any of this stuff up on eBay. Um, like I said, I'm keeping the cats, but I'll look up the plush whenever I get back home. And then I got this um, Doctor Who uh, bobblehead thing for $1. Um, I don't really know anything about it. The bottom says uh, Doctor Who logo 2013. But um, I know a lot of people collect the Doctor Who stuff, so... I thought I would give it a give it a go, so I'll look that up on eBay. And uh, let me see here. I got this planter. I love the vintage planters. And look at this one. Oh my goodness, isn't it cute? So I love it. It was only three dollars. So I will definitely be putting this in my uh, backyard. Okay, now I'm going to show you the really good stuff. They had a ton of jewelry, so I picked up a bunch of jewelry. And I didn't look any of this up or anything, so I'm just going to show you guys what I got. And I'm probably going to be listing this, of course, on eBay. But this is um, a really pretty locket necklace uh, surrounded by the, with the pearls. I thought that was really pretty. And um, that one was $2.50. And then I got... Another necklace. This looked like a vintage little cameo necklace. I thought it was really pretty. Um, it does, I can't see anything on the back. A lot of the stuff they had was Avon. And I know a lot of the time the uh, Avon stuff isn't worth much, but I don't even know if this is Avon. I'm not seeing anything on it. And this one was also $2.50. Oh my goodness, these are so stinking cute. I can't even stand it. So these were $1.50 for two of these. I think these are like vintage scatter pins, like with the Jelly Billy. I think they call those Jelly Billies. Uh, it almost looks like carnival glass in a way, but they're so stinking cute. I just love them. I got a bunch of cat stuff. Um, and here's this ring. I didn't even realize I bought it. I mean, I was looking at it, but I didn't realize I threw it in my pile. I paid $2. You can't really see that. I paid $2 for it. Um, it's just a vintage looking style ring it does have it is does have a sign on it it's Avon but um I was thinking it might fit me let me see my fingers are big I have big old fat fingers like a size eight or a nine so that's pretty <clears throat> let's see what else oh I gotta hurry this I don't want the video to be too long this one was a dollar and um uh, I think this one is also Avon. Cute little cat with little little rhinestone eyes. Uh, I picked this up because I thought it was really cute. This one is, oh, what does this one say? I can't make it out. Um, I should have my magnifying glass with me. But I'll look it up later. I think I do have one in my purse. Let me look real quick. Oops, I dropped it. Oh, where's my loop? Here it is, here it is. Okay, hang on. Okay, dropped it. All right. Let me look it, look it. Okay, that's the right way. Okay. 
uh, it says Mansell, no, yeah, Mansell, but it was a tea, a uh, pretty gold tea, I thought that was pretty, let's see what else, um, this bracelet was really interesting, it was only a dollar, and let's see, I thought the closure was really neat too with that pretty flower, definitely don't see any uh, stamps on it, any markings, um, I know it's vintage. It has that vintage like safety clasp on it. So I thought that was really pretty. And here's some cute little tiger like 3D uh, 3D style earrings. And here is some more cats. These definitely look like carnival glass. Uh, I believe they're vintage scatter pins. They were uh, $2. Let me just take it out so I can show you real quick. $2 for two of them. Oh, and the head moves. So they're real cute. They got that iridescent carnival glass look to it. So two of those. Okay. A few more guys. I got these little um, dove earrings. I thought, I think those are doves. I thought those were really pretty. And here's, oh my gosh, these are so cute. They're little bitty like vintage mouse earrings. So little eyes, their little eyes have little rhinestones. They look like they're little green, little green stones. Madeline might like to wear these. Uh, let's see, I picked up a vintage B for a dollar. It's also a uh, stamped Avon. It's a brooch, little pen. And here is some little hummingbird. Um, enamel earrings for a dollar. I might keep those. I kind of like this. Um, this was interesting. One of the ladies pointed it out to me after she saw the cat stuff I picked up. So it's a little necklace. Enamel, I believe. And it has, um, are those earrings? Let me just take it out of the bag and look at it. Oh wait, it says it's a necklace and a pen. So um, I'll put that up on eBay. It was $2 for that. Last item are these cute, really cute little butterfly, and I'm definitely keeping these for Madeline and me. Um, for only a dollar, little gold butterflies, dangle earrings with um, a pearl on them. And I don't think these have any markings. Let me look. No, I don't see any markings on there. But oh my goodness, they are so cute. Love these because we know we love butterflies. I um. I raise monarch butterflies, so I have a lot of milkweed in my backyard, and um, so we, that's how we get the caterpillars. They come and they lay eggs on the milkweed, and um, once I see the caterpillars come out, I go ahead and take them inside. I have little habitats for them, and so we raise the butterflies. Um, I also raise the, what do you call them on the draw blank? We have a, I think it's called a sassafras plant. My grandma gave it to me, and so we will raise uh, just it's only happened twice now, but the giant swallowtail butterflies. Okay, I think I'm gonna head home. Um, I won't wrap this video up just yet, just in case I find anything. <laughs> okay, real quick, I was on the way home and I couldn't stop, could not not stop by Goodwill, so I popped in there real quick. Um, so I picked up these little treat bags. I know more treat bags, right, for Halloween, but they were just too cute. Six count, I couldn't resist. Uh, so. Again, those go in the Halloween box. And then I picked up another one of these coffee mugs. And I know I'm gonna say this wrong. It's like, I rem I can never remember how to say this right. So Wasterbach, Wachterbach. Um, and it's made in Germany. And I paid 49 cents for it. So um, I've got quite a collection going on with these. I don't know if I'll keep this one or sell it. We'll have to see. So that is it for today. I swear I'm on my way home now. I'm not going to stop anymore. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please give me a like, subscribe, and share it with your friends. And we'll catch you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.